Thanks, but no thanks. That's what our next guest said when the president invited him and 239 other House Republicans to the White House this week to talk about our nation's debt. Here's what Speaker John Boehner had to say after the meeting. We had a very frank conversation. I thought it was productive. I'm looking forward uh, to more serious conversations uh, about how uh, we reduce the deficit and the debt and to get our economy going again and creating jobs. So does our guest regret his decision to decline? Joining us from the Cannon Rotunda is Louisiana Congressman Jeff Landry. Good to see you, Congressman. Good to see you. Do you regret <laughs> not showing up? Absolutely not. I mean, what did we accomplish here? You know, we've been knowing that we've been having this crisis coming for quite some time now. Republicans have put out plans. We voted on bills. We understand that we need to cut the deficit, and the White House doesn't do anything. They just get, it's just more rhetoric. What message do you send, though, by not showing up? By not showing up, it's just like, listen, we've got more important things to do uh, to cut this deficit. And when you're serious, Mr. President, when you really understand that we need to cut spending over here and we need to quit growing the size of this government, then I certainly am willing to sit down at this table and work out uh, and, and work our way out of this problem. Congressman, some grim economic numbers on Friday. 54,000 jobs created. The unemployment number creeps up. What does the president need to do to get jobs created in this country? And what do the House Republicans propose he do to get this economy rolling again? It's very simple. The president needs to put EPA on a leash. We need to cut the regulations that are overburdened, that are onerous to our businesses. They're strangling our businesses. We need, we need to give some certainty to industry. We need to give some certainty to, to the markets and, and let people understand that we're serious about our fiscal house. I mean, look, you have to live within a, in a budget. The American families have to live within a budget. When you live within that budget, it grants some certainty within your family. It's the same thing with the economy. We've got to get our energy prices under control. I've been in it for six months now. Those are the things that are derailing this economy, and the president just sits by and gives us more rhetoric. You're saying and others down in the Gulf are not happy with the president's stance on drilling. He did recently open up new land along the coastline that would open up new drilling permits. Are you satisfied with his recent moves? And two, you want to meet with him in regard to his drilling policy. Do you fear that your no-show about the debt and jobs will, will re result in him not being in regard to drilling? No, because he wasn't going to meet with us anyhow. Before I came to Congress, our Louisiana delegation had sent him numerous requests asking to meet with him. While I've been in Congress, we've sent him at least two letters, one a couple of weeks ago, asking him if he's too busy, maybe we could meet with his chief of staff. Not even a no thank you. So, no, he wasn't going to meet with us. And you know what? This rhetoric that he's opening leases, it's not true. What he, he, he mm -hmm. is... The, permitting, the permits are not being increased in the Gulf of Mexico. I sat down with the Shallow Water, Shallow Water Coalition yesterday, who's complaining that we still cannot get the permits we need to drill in the Gulf of Mexico. Congressman, all of this leads to 2012, ultimately, not just the Senate and congressional elections, but, of course, the race for the White House. Are you inspired by the current crop of Republican candidates after Mitt Romney got in this past week? And is there anyone out there that you can support that you think we'll make the right decisions again to cut our debt, to cut our deficit, and to grow jobs? Look, I think we've got a great field of candidates. I think, you know, it certainly there's a process. I always believe in the process. And there's one thing I know for sure. We need someone in that White House who wants to lead and so that we can get this economy back rolling and we can get people back to work. Congressman Jeff Landry from Louisiana, we appreciate you being with us. Thank you, sir. Thank you.